Hi guys, this is Jan with another 3D Quick Tips video and this is the second part of my customization and we will be focused on hotkeys today. So let's start. Let's go to Window, Settings and Preferences and Hotkey Editor. Maya comes with tons of hotkeys already built in. You can browse those by switching the category into menu items. You can go through the menus and you see all the shortcuts in here or I will uh, give you a list of all the shortcuts into the video description but today we want to focus on the customization at the end of the video I will show you some shortcuts I use and they are not that well known though uh, let's go to hotkey set and let's duplicate it to create our own because Maya default is locked and our new set will be built on top of the Maya. So we are not actually overriding the Maya once until we choose to override them. So if you want to create a hotkey, you just need to know which command you want to assign to hotkey. So let's, let's assume that I want to uh, reverse normals, for example, so I just switch to the application command and let's search for reverse normals so we are looking for this one in here you can see which keys are already assigned if you press ctrl command or shift you will see those switching so you see which are assigned you cannot click the button so you can't find which is assigned to, to this key which is pretty annoying but let's say we want to assign like control control shift r let's say for the reverse so we click to this empty box and press control shift r and it will be assigned with this little arrow we can add a different hotkey on top of that or assign a different hotkey on press and or release which is used in Maya in certain ways in case of snapping that you can hold the key to snap and then release it and the snap will turn off however you sh have to script these uh, functions usually because I, I cannot see a way how to use built-in actions which are not already assigned as a, as a press and a release so we have um, our hotkey already assigned, we save that hotkey, which will be saved in our for preset folder and we can just test it. So it was shift control R and obviously works. So that's that's one way, that's the standard Maya way. If you, if you want to delete that shortcut, you just double tap and clear the text. If you want to check which command is assigned to the hotkey, just switch search by to a hotkey and search by desired hotkey. So for example, W, which is for certain commands based on where you actually are in the UI. So if you want to change the command to something else, instead of W, just search for it, change it to your desired hotkey and the last part are runtime commands the runtime command is empty right now because we don't have any the runtime command is the command which doesn't exist in Maya by default but it's created when Maya is starting so it's usually a custom script or whatever so to create one we have to go to runtime command editor create a new one give it a name I have a small script for creating Taurus and Conan combining them together because because why not so it will be called uh, like ultimate doors description create ultimate Taurus and it will be a custom script no subcategory it will be Python control C control V save the command, command has been saved 
and we should be able to see it here maybe not custom scripts and it's here so we can create a shortcut for that so it will be control shift t save and close save this and control shift t and there we go later on in the next videos i will show you why those runtime commands are saved in a different files than the hotkeys uh, etc but that's more of a migration thing and the last thing i want to show you is are these three the maya default shortcuts which i use all the time so first one is actually switching the mode of a selection by default you have a selection with the rectangle with the marquee tool right but when you hold the tab key it switches to raycast and like a poly draw so you just draw the polygons you want to select it's super handy and once you release that it cancels that selection like that tool again so that's one of those press and release commands The second one would be probably a must for every every Maya user and that's a G key that's repeat last. So when I when I select like an edge over here, let's zoom in a little bit and go to marking menu and do the edge ring split and I wanna repeat the same action here, just press the G key here, G key cheeky it's just repeating the last command cheeky i i use it all the time it's all the time and the last thing is actually deleting the history which you probably know is just in edit delete by type history and the shortcut is alt shift and d and it will delete the history super fast super quick you don't have to go to menus or create a short button so it's alt shift d so these are my three kind of a favorite not usually known maya default hotkeys thank you for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe because there is more coming there is a video about marking menus and how to make a custom ones which is a super powerful tool in maya so stay tuned thank you very much for your attention and see you soon.